Okay. We're going to get started um, learning about Bootstrap, how to get started, how to use the grid system. Um, I'm going to start by just explaining that I'm going to use W3 Schools for all the tutorials. Um, make sure that you type in Bootstrap 4 because sometimes if you just type in Bootstrap, you'll get Bootstrap 3, the previous version. And there are a few little differences. So these tutorials, pretty good. Getting started. It is a responsive system, which means that it will automatically adjust so that it looks good on different size screens. For example, right now, the window that you're seeing is one size screen, and here's what it would look like on a different size screen. Notice that the menu on the left collapses, and disappears automatically. On a different size screen, it's automatically open. That's a responsive website, responsive web design. All right, so there's an example here of, of what it might look like when we write some bootstrap code. How do we get it? Um, you could download the files, but use a CDN. That's the way to do it. So it's just these links that you're gonna put in the head section of your HTML file. Um, there's not just one, okay? I've had a couple of students uh, make that mistake of thinking that they only need to include one. You need to include all four of these. So new project, web page. We go to index.html and right here in the head section, um, probably before we load the web pages style sheet and the web pages JavaScript, that's where we wanna put these CDN files. Copy and paste. If things aren't indented properly, you can press tab to indent them, uh, shift tab to unindent, like if you accidentally indent too much, shift tab to unindent, or you can always press format this file to automatically do it, as long as you don't have any um, syntax errors, any mistakes in your code. We've just imported the, the files for Bootstrap 4. First thing that we should talk about is containers. Now, one of the main things that we need to have, every Bootstrap page needs to have, is all of this stuff, paragraphs and um, paragraphs and headings and, and images. It should all be inside of a container. So I'm gonna create a div with the class container. And this thing that I just created that is my main container. That's what we're going to call it. It's important that we have one, my main container. Uh, that's just a term I made up, but um, everything goes inside of the main container. I've said that several times on these, um, these video calls, but I know that I still have some people that do not have things inside of the main container because this closing div tab, div tag is right here which means nothing is inside of the main container, okay? This closing div tag needs to go down here. So it's the last thing. This H1 and this paragraph are going to be inside of the main container. Let's see what it looks like so far. Oh yeah, there's some built-in CSS I wanna get rid of. Um, this is just stuff that Glitch automatically puts there. So let me delete that. There's an automatic like high that it has in the JavaScript files too. Um, we can get rid of that. All right, so now what does my basic bootstrap page look like with just a main container? Hi there, I'm your cool new web page made with Glitch. It automatically has some uh, margins that the margins resize whenever I resize the page, okay? So the margins automatically adjust for different sized screens. The grid, okay? Bootstrap divides the page into 12. This grid system divides it into 12. So when you're thinking about how much space you want something to take up, you need to do it in divisions of 12. Like if I want things to be spaced so that this takes up one third and this takes up one third, then I want a column size four and another column size four and another column size four. So let's look at what I have right now. I've got just an H1 and I've got a paragraph. What if instead of this H1 taking up the, the full top line and this taking up the, um, the next line below it, what if I make those two into columns inside of a row? And then I'm going to use the grid system to place them. Div class row. OK, 
Okay, inside of this row, I'm gonna put two columns, div class column. I need to put a size, okay? If I just put a number, it'll work, but it won't be responsive. It won't change based on the screen size. Let's say on medium size screens, it's gonna be half of the row. And then another column that on medium size screens is gonna take up half the row. And this is by the way, medium sized and larger. It's gonna take up half. It automatically is going to do another sizing for us. Unless we specify something else on the absolute smallest screens, it's gonna be size 12, okay? It's gonna take up the full width, which that's fine. We can, we can leave it like that. So let's put hi there in the first column and let's put the paragraph I'm your cool new web page in the second column. Uh, and it messed that up. Just press, uh, that didn't work. Press format, there we go. So the paragraph is inside of that column, that div, and inside the paragraph I have this text. Here's what that looks like. I have two columns. One column has hi there, the other column has I'm your cool new web page. And if I resize the page, it changes when it gets to a certain small sized page. This is gonna be a lot easier to see if we add some, some colors or some borders. So let's quickly jump to colors. And I'm just gonna add two different um, background colors, primary and success. So the first column, background primary, second column, background success. Here's what those columns look like. On small screens, they stack on top of each other, but on medium sized screens or larger, they are next to each other. The first column taking up um, six twelfths, the second column taking up six twelfths. Now, let's change that. I don't want them to take up six twelfths. I want this one to take up three twelfths. Well, let's just see what that looks like. Three twelfths and six twelfths. Notice that it leaves a blank space over here where I could put another like three twelfths of a column. I could put a blank div class column medium size three, put that in the middle of them and just leave that empty. Uh, it doesn't have a background. It's just an empty column that I have right there. If you wanted to do something, you could do something like that. What if the numbers don't add up to 12? Right now I have three plus three plus six. What if I had uh, four plus five plus six? Okay, what do you think is gonna happen? It pushes the extra column down to the next line. Um, so we've looked at what happens if they are less than 12, like if that's two, then that's three, and that's four. It just leaves extra space. And if they are too big, if they're too big, then the, the last column just moves on to the next line. You can stack these so that um, on different size screens, you get different layouts. Let's see, on a large screen, large screen, I want... I actually want four, large four. On large size screens and bigger, I'm gonna have them, them spaced evenly, four, four, four. But when it gets to a medium size screen, I want it to take up, this one's gonna take up six twelfths, this one's gonna take up six twelfths, and this one's gonna take up six twelfths. I'm looking at a large size screen right now. If I make the screen bigger, it still looks the same. But as the screen gets smaller, it's going to switch. So that the first two take up half, um, half the width. This one takes up half the width. Okay, the second one takes up half the width. The uh, third one takes up half the width, six twelfths. And then finally on the smallest size screen, they just collapse. Okay, that's the basics of working with um, the grid system. You can add extra rows. One thing that's gonna be really important is keeping track of which of these closing divs goes, goes with what. This is where the row ends. So I'm gonna leave myself a note. Row one ends. So I'm gonna start my next row here. Div class row. And then div class column. Let's do size eight, just on medium size screens and larger. Go ahead and give it a background. Um, BG info. I have some of these memorized. You do not need to have those colors memorized. Um, this is just row number two. All right, two different rows, 
both of them responding to different size screens. All right, that's gonna be the end of the first tutorial. Uh, the next tutorial, we are going to look at colors and jumbotrons,